Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're checking out the Three Notched and Oscar Blues collaboration called Black and Goldings. And this is a black ale? It's a Pittsburgh style ale. It's a collaboration beer because the uh, brewer from Three Notch used to brew, or I guess started brewing with the uh, head of operations at Oscar Blues back when they first got into the industry. And so they decided to come out with a beer together. And this is a tribute to their friendship and to two cities one in Charlottesville, one in Pittsburgh, PA, kind of coming together. Yeah, sounds cool. This actually uses uh, East Kent Goldings and U.S. Goldings hops, so that's an interesting combo there. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever had, I guess it's predominant in uh, British English beers. Yeah, yeah, East Kent is uh, very prominent in British beers. So maybe I've had it before and I just haven't associated. Uh, well, it is black. Ironically, very, very I have the perfect glass for it, too. Yeah, you got the glass and everything. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm getting some malty notes. It definitely has kind of that slightly British character. Yeah. Yeah, it's malty. It's It smells... Uh, Looks like a black ale. It smells a little bit roasty. Mm. Okay. Let's Ready? See what's up. Hmm. Mm. Kind of reminds me of a slightly like a brown ale, mixed with a. I think. Lager or something. I think the hops that they're using, yes, are very popular in British beers, and I've drank a lot of British beers in the past. So I'm getting, like, just reminiscing on British beers, but I think this is way too hoppy, to, for it to ever be compared to a British beer. It's definitely super hoppy. I was not expecting it to be that hoppy. I take that back, I'm getting a lot more bitterness. Yeah, it is bitter. It's very bitter. It's definitely bitter. Sure. Yeah, you wouldn't normally associate this much bitterness in a British beer. Maybe that's just the American side of it, you know, like let's pound it with a little bit more bitterness. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I, I, I can't really put my finger on what I can compare this beer to. It's, I can't compare it to anything. No, it's just kind of its own, it's like a unique thing. It tastes vaguely British mm -hmm. in the implementation of the hops, um, and and also because it's just like a darker, you know, kind of more malty beer. Uh, but it also kind of tastes a little bit lagery, and it's light. Um, it's yeah, it's this is a unique beer. I wasn't expecting anything quite so uh, intriguing. I guess. Yeah, it's, I can't compare this to anything. I've never tried anything like this. Uh, you were talking about how it was selling out really quickly. It was the last pack I was able to get. It just released at our local supermarket, and by the time I got there a few days later, this was the last one. What? I mean, it is limited release, and I think they probably only bring it out once a year, but I've never seen it. Ironically, I have this glass, which I got many years ago at Three Notch. So it's definitely a staple beer, but it's not a year-round beer. All right. Maybe enough people know about it to seek it out when it when it does come out. And that's why like yeah. nobody can find it. Mm. Mm. There's a weird fine print at the bottom that says, this is a relationship. Tell us how you feel. 844 Lie Mark. What? Is that a telephone number? No, not lie. Love Mark. L V E Mark. Is this an 800 number you can call? Tell us how you feel. Should we call it? I'm gonna call it. Dave and Tim, so that is not... Are we calling Dave and Tim? No, it says Love Mark. Who's Mark? We're gonna call this number and see. Let's see what happens. Thank you for calling Three Notch Brewing Company. If you know your party's extension, you may dial it at any time. Are they, are they the open right now? Press zero or stay on the line. To repeat this menu, press the pound key. They are open. Okay, well, we're gonna... I don't think we need to call them. You don't think so? No. Thank you for calling customer service. Yeah. Your call has been forwarded to the voicemail for customer service. No one is available to take your call. At the tone, please record your message. When you finish recording, you may hang up I kind of want to finish that call and see how their customer service actually is. Yeah. Like if I call them and say, hey, I dislike your beer greatly, what would they do? Would they call me back? Like if I left yeah, them a voicemail and be like, hey, so sorry. Or if I said, hey, I really like this beer, you know, or can you send me a sticker? I wonder if they would do it. Would you do it? 
It is kind of nice that they have like a customer service line dedicated for your beer if you do not like it. And we've or been like we've it. been there, and yeah. it, it, it's not that big. No, the it's three notches is small. So I don't yeah. know how they have, you know, they're able to have an entire. Maybe they're just, you're just calling the front desk of the brewery. I don't know. Either way, that's crazy how you guys have a can, have a number on the can that you can actually call and get a hold of somebody live. I, I think that's super crazy. I've never seen a number on a can like no, that. No, that's cool. It's like a product you've just bought, you know? Yeah. Like a toaster. It's like, if your toaster doesn't work or if you don't like the look of this, please call this number. If your beer isn't up to snuff, yeah. in your opinion, call us, let us know. Overall, what do you think? Brew review approved, I say. Brew yeah, approved. this is a good one. It's unique, it's different. Uh, I've never tasted anything quite like it. No wonder it's sold out. All right guys, well that does it from us. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button for new notifications when videos come out. As always, stay crafty. Cheers. Cheers. Fuggle hops. Burgle. Hey guys, welcome back to another can review. Today we're checking out the... I don't even know what we're checking out today, sorry. I really need the support. Like a fat chick running a mile needs a bra. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out the Oscar Blues this. Sorry, <laughs> All right guys, well that does it from us. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Empty, ever open eye staring back at me makes me nervous. Be awesome like us and subscribe to the channel. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel.